What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today is Friday and Zer is back in the tower. He's hanging out down here over by the Crucible vendors. And holy shit, he's got an awesome inventory. It's ridiculous actually. So everything he's got this week is for the Taken King. We're gonna start off with the Taganaut, which is probably the least exciting to me of all the items he's selling. The Taganaut is a Titan helmet that's got a really weird perk on it. Air traffic control. All rocket launchers gain tracking, radar remains visible while zooming with heavy weapons, and heavy ammo drops drop more often. So this actually isn't a bad helmet. It seems a little weird, all rocket launchers gain tracking, right? That's how often are we gonna use that? But getting more heavy ammo drops and the fact that they drop more often, that's actually a pretty good perk, uh, even if you're using a heavy machine gun. It's got increased intellect and increased discipline, always nice to see, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, and innervation. All right, next, something I've really been looking forward to but has completely eluded me, the Graviton Forfeit. This thing is badass. Basically what it does is it gives you Shade Step for free. I love that. I've been looking for this thing forever. I can't wait to buy it and start using it for my Hunter. Uh, it's got increased intellect, increased strength, ashes to assets, heavy lifting, and better already. Uh, this is one of those one of those items has just eluded me and I'm really happy to be picking it up. Next, we've got the Alchemist Raiment. Now, I haven't tested this one out yet. Again, this one's gonna be new for me when I buy it today. Uh, the initial perk seems a little weird. Iron to gold, chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup. I can't imagine anybody wanting this. Uh, there's really no reason to use glimmer at this point. Glimmer just seems like a useless economy. However, there is some reason to look at this thing. So we've got increased strength, we've got increased intellect, we got special ammo, increased amount of special weapon ammo drops, and heavy ammo, increased amount of heavy ammo drops. That's awesome. I'm wondering if that's gonna work with the sleeper simulant. We'll have to see. It's not how much you can carry though, it's just how much it drops. So that's a little bit of a weird set of perks, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how well it works. Uh, we've also got arc burn defense and arc armor. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I really, it feels like it's gonna be a different piece of chest armor than what we're used to. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how effective it is. Next, another thing that's totally eluded me, the Zala Supercell. It's the only arc burn primary in the Taken King so far. I can't wait to get my dirty little hands on this thing. I've been super jealous of all my friends who have it because they're telling me it's really fun to use in PvE. Zala Supercell arc projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. The chance is pretty good, plus it's an auto rifle that fires pretty quickly, so so you're constantly getting that chance to roll. This thing just does massive damage to a group of enemies. It's a very good gun for PVE. We got CQB Ballistics, we got Smart Drift Control, and we got Aggressive Ballistics. Persistence, this weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. Hammer Forged, I love that perk. Rifled Barrel, I love that perk even more. And Brace Frame for ultimate stability. And finally, Bolts from the Blue, double kills with this weapon, charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. That's a very nice perk. So I gotta tell you guys, I'm pretty excited. I'm picking up three things. You know what, I'm just gonna buy them right now. Uh, I actually got a ton of strange coins from doing the Nightfalls this week, and now I'm actually happy about it because I'm getting three exotics that I really want, and that makes me super happy. Uh, next, we got a Legacy Engram. So if you want a special uh, exotic weapon from year one, you can try and pick it up this way, and, uh, you know, hopefully you get it. <laughs> Curios, Plasma Drive, and Void Drive. So if you're looking to upgrade a blue rare sparrow to legendary status and change the color of its contrail, you can use those. We got heavy ammo synthesis, but frankly, there's cheaper ways of getting it now, so I wouldn't buy it from Xur anymore. Three of coins, I'm gonna buy a few of these while I'm here. These are nice to have around, get you some extra exotics, hopefully they drop at 310, and you can upgrade some other gear. And of course, glass needles, so you can change the perk rolls on your exotics. 
Not too bad, guys. Really good week for Zer. I picked up three things I didn't have before. It might be the first week since like week two that that's happened. I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Zer. You are the best. Thank you for these bounties that we receive. <laughs> that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.